Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is a review of uh, a case I come across, uh, and uh, this is the iHome um, Tough Come down here. This is for the iPhone 5, and uh, I kind of like this case. Just uh, of course, I haven't unboxed it yet, but uh, uh, iHome. You know, we all know of iHome. They have nice quality audio equipment for iPhones, iPods, stuff like that. Um, so I figured, hey, it's kind of a name brand. Um, it's tough. It's designed for style, built to protect. Has a kickstand, which I think is cool. Um, it's a two-piece silicone sleeve with hard polycarbonate shell, built-in stand for enjoying movies, and full access to screen buttons and ports. So, all the key stuff I was looking for in a case, and ten bucks. This was ten dollars. This is originally twenty-nine ninety-nine, ten dollars. And of all places, I followed my wife into a Tuesday morning and stumbled across this and so without further ado let's go ahead and unbox this and see how it feels looks and I think it comes up like this you know not much for the packaging not much at all for the packaging but uh, you know hey ten bucks you can get cheap packaging for a quality case and it, really all you get just the case BAM uh, let's go ahead and get the inside out. Alright, so the two piece. This is the two piece. And it looks like maybe we can just leave these assembled and stick the phone in here. And I'm going to just slide this side in first. I don't know, we may have to take this apart. The tough piece is actually probably preventing me from putting the phone in. So let's go ahead and get this piece off first. It's not allowing the flexibility that I need for the uh, bending the phone into the rubber piece here. So let's get the tough piece off. Ugh. Let's go, come on. You know, it's it's kind of rubbery. This is nice rubbery material. There we go. We got it off. So now it's a little more flexible. So let's go ahead and get the foam put in here. Couldn't bend it quite like we wanted to with the tough part on the back. So let's get that off. And then it's a pretty tight fit. Snug. Usually you got to put in the volume buttons first but this is uh let's see if this will work a little better I'll tell you what I might pause the video and get this on and show you guys how it looks it's not as easy as it looks here it's not stretching you know maybe it'll there we go maybe it'll get a little better over time but there it's back on and now we're gonna rock the uh the back Put it on. Oops. Well, we don't want to block the camera, so make sure we get this back on right. There we go. That snaps right back on. Cool. And uh, yeah, it gives it a good feel in your hand. I mean, really nice. This doesn't quite go down. There we go. So let's look at the ports. We have good access to the ports. Um, really kind of close on the headphone jack but uh, looks like we should be good to go in fact I think I have a cable headphone here real quick let's just test this out see what we get there we go this is the Mophie adapter but this is a good test let's see if this plugs in without any problems yep good fit so we've got good access to the ports there um, let's see if we can get to the silence Yep, that worked. Volume. That seems to work pretty good. Up, down. Get back in here. It's a little snug on the silencer vibrator, but that's okay. The home works good. So, not bad. Now let's try the little uh, stand. So we get here rocking the stand. Wow. It's not super easy to get this stand down. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, here we go. Making it harder than it was. 
So that comes open like that. And uh, flop right back down. See how it stands up. Pretty good. Pretty good for ten dollars. Tuesday morning. The iHome tough case. And I think it looks kind of sporty. It's got a nice rubbery feel back here. This is a nice rubbery feel. And it's gripped with these ridges in here. It makes it you get a good grip on the phone. That's something you want to really keep um, so you don't drop it. This doesn't want to stay down up here real good, but other than that, this was the only little flaw that I see with it. Let's test the camera real quick. Let's see if we've got any. Nope, no blockage whatsoever. So that's awesome. It's cut just right. Anyway, I'll rock this for a couple days and uh, give you some overall impressions. Um, let's see how it works. If uh, you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. As always, that'll help me continue making quality videos for you guys of some cases and gadgets and software and stuff. And uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Check back later for more videos.